What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about. This time actually revolving around the Miami Heat. And it is reported that the Miami Heat have interest in DeMarcus Cousins. It's reports saying that as well that they also liked him last summer. This is also being reported by Barry Jackson. This is literally insane in my opinion. I honestly think that he could actually still be very good in the NBA if he just got over his injury, obviously. And yeah, obviously, it's going to take some time. I mean, it's an ACL injury. They're going to take like a really a whole year to heal. And I think he needs to steadily be, you know, put back into it. But if the Miami Heat or something or someone like that do sign him and give him, you know, minute restriction, like five to 10 minutes a night in his first couple games, goes up to 15, goes up to 20, 25, and then if he gets to the point where he can get it back up to 30, that would literally be, you know, absolutely insane for DeMarcus Cousins. Now, I think it makes sense that the Lakers did waive him. Obviously, they needed that roster spot. They've been able to sign Markeith Morris. Now, they saw, they um, waived Troy Daniels, and now they're going to look to, you know, potentially sign J.R. Smith or someone like that. I think the Lakers could potentially bring him back, but I just how cool would it be to see him you know, on the Miami Heat. I would assume he would be their backup center due to the fact that Bam Adebayo is absolutely bowling out right now for the Miami Heat. But he could come off the bench and play quite a bit of minutes per game if he does, you know, get his body back into it. But let's, you know, look at Bam's stats. He's only 22 years old. He's averaging 16.2 points per game, 10.5 rebounds, 5.1 assists, and he's obviously a very, very good defender. If you added, you know, DeMarcus Cousins to that, I think that would be absolutely insane for the Miami Heat. Now, I doubt you could start... Actually, you know, they probably could start Bam and DeMarcus Cousins at the 4 and 5 because they have been playing um, you know, Myers Leonard, I do believe, at the uh, 5. So, that is obviously... And, you know, playing... um, uh, Yeah, playing... um. Uh, Bam out of bio at the four has worked for the majority of the season. And Myers Leonard's actually been a pretty decent defender for them throughout the whole entire season. Let's just say you were to replace him with DeMarcus Cousins, who's, you know, maybe averaging 10 to 15 points per game, bringing back that defense and all that type of stuff. That's a better effort than probably what Myers Leonard is currently doing. And I think it'd be a very interesting combo to have Myers Leonard and um, DeMarcus Cousins on the NBA court all at the same time. And I think it'd be something very interesting to potentially see. And obviously, Miami Heat have a history of getting players, you know, back in shape, I do believe, and getting players to play back to their prime on their team. And I think it would be a very, you know, interesting idea to potentially have DeMarcus Cousins on here. As I get, again, I think he would be able to potentially get back from his knee injury a lot better than certain teams and all that type of stuff. And I think it'd be a very good offense and defense, really, to put him involved with as well. As Eric Spolstra, he does like, you know, a very big defensive game. He does like his three-point shooting, but the defensive game is mainly what it's about. And I think that if Marcus Cousins can put on a, a very nice defensive pressure all the time, I think it would still be a very good signing. Now, it obviously doesn't have to be great defense. I mean, they've got great defenders. They've got Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, who are probably both going to make all defensive teams this season. They've just, you know, they've got them. They like a little bit of d defense, you know, at Kendrick Nunn, but Goran Dragic is a pretty nice defender. Derrick Jones is a nice defender. Kelly Olynyk's a decent defender, even though he's a very good three-point shooter. Duncan Robinson's a decent three-point, um, decent defender, sorry. But Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo, um, you know, there are the standouts. If you got them, if you got those two players in your defense, it's going to be very hard to get past. And yes, Andre Iguodala has started off pretty bad for the Miami Heat. He still is a, you know, a renowned, pretty good defender as well. So I think, you know, if he could pick it up, it would be pretty interesting as well. But again, DeMarcus Cousins doesn't need to come in and automatically be very good to make an impact. He can just make an impact on playing his role. Look, the Miami Heat or any team will know that DeMarcus Cousins does have injuries. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter how he does for the first 20 games or so. I mean, he's coming off that big leg injury that he had. I forgot what he did, but he had a pretty bad injury before his ACL. And then he ended up doing his ACL, which is, you know, one of the worst injuries in sports. So 
to, you know, come back from this. It's going to be a very hard process, and I think any team is going to give DeMarcus Cousins heaps of time and give him the time that he deserves. And I think, yeah, playing DeMarcus Cousins and Bam out of Byron, now that I think about it, at the 4-5 and five would be hella interesting to potentially see. Like, I would really like to see that. I mean, they're playing Myers Leonard at the 5 right now and Bam at the 4. Jeez, that, I just think that would be a very interesting combination. DeMarcus Cousins and Bam out of Byron. I honestly think that the Miami Heat will potentially do it, and DeMarcus Cousins will actually, most likely, potentially re-sign, I mean, actually, potentially re-sign with the Los Angeles Lakers, or actually take his talents to South Beach, so, again, I think it would be a very interesting idea for DeMarcus Cousins and the Miami Heat to do, and again, there's always still a chance that they actually do give the idea maybe a run in playoffs as well as, yes, there is still, I believe he does want to come back for the playoffs, even though I don't think he's going to be able to. He has expressed pretty high interest in actually wanting to play in, you know, this season and potentially the playoffs as well. So again, I think DeMarcus Cousins need to, you know, give his body more time and just not play this season at all and have a decent off season to potentially try and get back into stuff. Play, you know, a pre-season, play some preseason games for either maybe Miami or the Lakers or maybe some other teams here and there. And then, you know, really go from there and then start to play in the NBA on minute restrictions. Look, he may even only get like five minutes in his first game or something. Like, he's not going to get that many minutes with the injuries that he's had in the past two years. He is going to need to rest his body. And yeah, again, he's not going to be able to play exactly that much. He's, need, he's going to need to slightly ease into it. But anyone, to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on the Miami Heat potentially signing DeMarcus Cousins? Do you guys think that they should do it next season? Do you guys think they should do it for this season, aka playoffs or something like that? Again, I'd definitely really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it all down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlogging channels. Links for them are in the description down below. But, and yeah, also go check out my podcast as well where I talk about NBA content and just sports content like AFL and all that type of stuff again. Links for that are in the description down below. But as I was saying, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.